Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Welcome back to all my viewers and subscribers if you're already familiar with the channel. This will be a love reading based on three cards uh, giving us some messages and insight into how your special person may be feeling about you and your connection around this period. So this is for those that are married, this is for those that have an ex, this is for those that have anyone romantically involved or trying to romantically um, attract someone into their life. This reading can be for you uh, and it hopefully it is insightful into what this person might be feeling about you and your connection together. So let's jump into it and see what the cards can reveal about this person and their feelings towards you. Three cards. Okay, the Emperor, Knight of Wands and Ace of Cups. Let's start off with the Emperor here and he is, he does bring a very powerful energy. He's very intimidating, he's very commanding uh, and there's something about him that just draws you in, okay? It's power. The Emperor is all powerful and feels this way. He knows his power. Uh, he knows the control he has over his dominions, over his peoples and over everything that he rules. So there might be someone here who's feeling quite powerful. They might feel like they've got the upper hand or they're sitting in a situation that they're, 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 they're sitting um, at an ideal place right now. So for some of you, for example, if you've disconnected with this person, if you've recently had a fight with them, Ares was seen as the god of conflict in the Roman um, mythology. So if you've had any conflict or argument or any tension with this person, they might be feeling like they have more power than you at the moment, okay? Maybe it's because they had the last word in a situation. Maybe it's because they feel like they've got a valid point to come across, uh, that they've tried to communicate to you. Uh, maybe they just feel like you are more interested in them than they are in you at this point in time. But they're feeling power about them. Now, the Emperor is also deeply stubborn. He sits on a stone throne. He's got the barren, harsh, arid mountains behind him. And he's very confronting because we don't see much of the background. It's more of him on the foreground. And he's got this intense stare. So someone is feeling things at a very intense level. So especially if you have had, I think this is more for those people that are either dealing with an Aries or have had some sort of conflict uh, or intensity, whether it's been sexual intensity, you've gone through a period of sleeping together and being physical, you've gone through a period of opposing each other with different views, you've tried to discuss them, you've tried to see eye to eye, perhaps this energy is more so for those people. However, uh, there could be someone here who is feeling like, they've got more power okay or they feel like they have they're in control in the relationship somehow or in the connection okay uh for example maybe they've blocked you okay and they hold more power because they've got the power to uh block or unblock you or invite them back into their life or not and whether you choose to do that is absolutely up to you but there could be someone in that sort of energy here it's not all bad though the emperor does want to take people under their wing and assume responsibilities. So it could be that someone is going through those feelings where they're trying to assume responsibility or accountability for their actions. Uh, and you do have more fire energy in the form of the Knight of Wands, which is that Aries, Sag or Leo energy. Um, the Knight of Wands is quite impatient, irrational or a little bit unsettled, okay? So someone could be feeling very emotionally, sexually, physically excited about what's happening in your relationship right now. Uh, for some of you, especially if this is like a long distant lover or someone who's not readily available to you, like if they live further away or they travel often, it could be someone who's feeling a little bit of distance between the two of you. Maybe geographical distance, maybe emotional distance, uh, physical distance, mental distance, but there could be someone feeling a little bit unsettled. And the Knight of Wands does carry a very fast pace. Maybe someone is feeling something is being rushed, they're being rushed or things are moving too quickly for them. Maybe the pacing or the message here is that 
things need to slow down a little bit to help this relationship move forward. So to help this move forward and grow and be what it is that you want it to be or to be or come to the level or the outcome that you so desire, it's important that pacing is worked upon. And there could be, for a lot of you, someone who's feeling things are, have been or are currently quite irrational. But the Knight of Wands, we must admire him for he is deterministic. Uh, he gets things done. He achieves things. He, he, it's not about talk for him. It's about action. So maybe someone needs to see you act a certain way. Maybe someone needs to see the behavior. Maybe someone is waiting for the words and the actions to match up and not contradict each other. There could be someone waiting for that outcome here or waiting to see that from you because this is a, a reading focused on more how they are feeling. In one way, yes, they're very excited and I feel that they're sort of swept up in it all. Uh, but it could be that they're feeling impulsive around this time as well. Okay, so anything that they say or do could be a little bit impulsive, perhaps even slightly out of character. And again, this would indicate that for some reason, they're in a bit of a funk here and they're sort of rushing things. They're not really thinking through them for some reason. They're not taking the time to think about certain things. It's It, it has them somewhat distracted, okay? But the Knight of Wands is a very lustful energy too. So there can certainly be um, someone that's definitely lusting over you and trying to be very confronting towards you as well. Now, the Ace of Cups is also here, which can represent a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, the Ace of Cups can represent renewal or a new beginning, okay? The fact that the water flows so eloquently from God's chalice can definitely indicate destiny at play here and a second chance that's being offered, okay? There might be someone here who's wanting a second chance or wanting to purify or get rid of toxic energy or clear the air with you. Seek forgiveness or seek closure. Because the water in this card symbolizes ritualistic processes um, and cleaning, cleansing something, which can be apologies, forgiveness. Uh, so there might be someone here who wants a new chapter with you. The bird here is, is a message, okay, it's a messenger. So there might be someone here who's wanting to give you that message that they want to start fresh Maybe they want to go on a new milestone with you. The Ace of Cups often has a religious connotation tied into it with God's chalice here, God's covenant, God's promise. So there might be someone here who's wanting something more traditional with you. Maybe they're wanting to bind your union through marriage, um, living together, uh, getting engaged, or undergoing some sort of tradition or custom that's native to their beliefs, their morals, their traditions, their customs. And they're thinking about these things with you. There's also someone here who feels like you are gifted to them from the universe. You have been given to them for a reason. You have allowed their emotions to flourish. You have allowed their emotions to run. You've allowed them to be happy, overwhelmed, overjoyed, inundated with a lot of emotion that perhaps they've never felt before. Maybe they were uh, avoidant of these issues with the emperor. I find that he has a somewhat avoidant style. Um, he could deflect things, uh, whereas the Ace of Cups is welcoming and it brings joy and harmony and the bird is peace. And there could be someone here who's feeling emotionally at peace where things are. Maybe these are individual people or maybe this unfolds as a story throughout this period that I mentioned that the reading is catered to. But I do feel for the most part with that Ace of Cups, this is a very beautiful sign Um that someone wants to express something, they want to release, okay, something, um, whether it's releasing you, releasing the relationship, or finally releasing all the insecurities, all the fears, anxieties that they've been holding on to, finally letting go and submitting, emotionally submitting to you, uh, which is quite powerful as well. I will leave your reading at that though, so thank you again so much for tuning in. I do hope it's been insightful into your situation, but please remember it is a general reading catering to many different people who are watching this, so obviously not everything is going to resonate to a T, but I do hope it's given you some hope or insight or clarity. Uh, so thank you again for all your likes, your shares, your contributions, your viewership uh, to the channel. It really does mean a lot. 
Thank you again so much and we shall be in touch very, very soon. Take care everyone and bye for now.